this dish is Loch Ney Pollum, which is here, and we're going to do that with a kohlrabi, uh, which is a, a root vegetable, and we've got, I'm going to do a salad with that. And then we've, I've made an apple butter, so it's just a, a way of preserving apples. It's just really boiled up apple with, um, with sugar and a wee bit of clove, very, very simple, and then just blend it up, pass it through a sieve, and you can bottle that. So it's one of those things that's it's, it's American and it's also traditional in Northern Ireland. So the pollen, um, the pollen is uh, from Loch Ney, which it's, it's an indigenous fish. So it was trapped, it was actually a herring that was trapped in Loch Ney during the last ice age. So it's, it's a fresh water fish, but it looks like a herring. And uh, the, there was, I, I remember um, my, uh, my granny lived in Cookstown, which is just on the shore of Loch Ney. And um, the, they would have sold um, Loch Ney pollen uh, on the on the street um, on a market or just on the street on a Friday and there would be somebody shouting pollen alive and in the cart so that was uh, and w it actually wasn't in the cart it was always in a bucket and they used to take it out of the bucket wrap it up in a bit of um, a paper and, and sell it that way I love it I've been sort of I remember um, having it at my granny's and it was never done anything they just did it in a pan she did it in a pan if she's going to be fancy sometimes she'd put a wee bit of oats in the pan which should be quite traditional um, but I'm going to do it with uh, this vegetable so this vegetable is a uh, kohlrabi so kohlrabi is a cross between a turnip and a cabbage and we're going to do a kind of a, a salad with that so what we'll do is just cut it in half so you can sort of see that there it's uh, you know it's a sort of like turnipy, white turnipy looking and it smells a wee bit turnip it just it smells like a mixture between a turnip and a cabbage so we'll trim this off here so we're just, we're just going to slice this and make it into like a, a kind of a, so we've got a, a mandolin here, so just um, slice it there and then we'll just, we'll just shred it this afterwards. So just Okay, so that's nice and finely chopped, finely sliced. So just take this along. Uh, you can eat it raw, but I'm just going to dress it, and, and, and the, the sort of the smaller the better. So you just want to just um, slice this nice and finely, just to make it nice appetising. So we're, we're going to just put a wee bit of a, a dressing on it, very light dressing. So just slice that up nice and fine. Okay, so, and kohlrabi. I always thought kohlrabi was one of these new vegetables, but while, you know, I've, I've looked through old cookbooks and um, Florence Irwin, who was a, a cook sort of in the 1930s and wrote the book uh, The Cooking Woman um, and she makes reference to kohlrabi so it makes sense, it's this turnip which is a mixture between turnip and cabbage which are kind of our two national vegetables aren't they? So that's that down there and I would put a wee bit of onion in this as well just for savouriness so again just very nice slice the onion And then just in our in our pot here in our bowl, got a nice bit of a uh, cider vinegar from Port Down. So it's really really nice sort of sweet sour vinegar, and then some rapeseed oil. So the rapeseed oil is from um, just from Lamavari, and then just to sweeten this as well. So this is our apple butter. So apple butter, as I said, is just um, chopped up apples and you can use cooking apples, you can use eating apples, you use anything you want. You don't need to core them or anything like that. Chop them all up, um, sugar, bit a couple of cloves, boil them all up to like, you know, like a jammy consistency and then just um, really at that stage I, I would just um, either blend it and pass it just so you get nice and that'll, that'll keep forever. So a wee bit of the, the apple butter in with our just in with our dressing. And then just mix in all our, our vegetables here. Give those a good nice wee touch of, touch of salt just and it'll help break down the, the vegetables as well. And then just give that a mix. So it's like a kind of a just a just a nice salad. You can cook uh, the re the old recipes that I've I've seen for kohlrabi, you either stew it 
or you serve it like this raw. So I sort of thought it would be nice with the nice with the, the fish. So there we are. So that's our that's our salad there now. So go back to our our pollen. So I've got a pan on, nice and hot, really, really hot. Uh, again, just a bit of I pat it the fish dry as well. So, so if you have um, want to, we want to make a virtue of the of the um, skin on this. You want a lovely, nice, crispy skin. And we're going to put a wee bit of butter into this as well, and then we'll serve it with our apple butter and our salad. Okay, so, so that's nice and hot there now. So just a bit of oil on the surface, and give that a swirl around. So pretty hot there. And again, so with the fish, so as you can see, this fish is really, really thin. So it's going to take a couple. Of, it's going to take a minute to cook. So it's, it's the ultimate fast food here. So again, in the pan, away from yourself. And remember which one you put in first. So do it in a line, really. These are first four, five, and then six. Now if you just hold it down. So we'll get a nice bit of crispiness in this. So just press the fish down into the pan. So this is a really, really traditional fish. It's, it's a, you can only, as I said, you can only get it in Loch Ness, and it's just part of our heritage here. So you can sort of see that fish kind of cooking up the side already. Take a bit of butter. And I just dot the butter around. So just, and that will help colour up beautifully. Again, you don't need to move that either. Just, just sort of swirl it. And again, you get this lovely smell of this beautifully fresh fish. It's like a, it's nearly, it's nearly like sea fish, even though it's not. So. That one there, you can sort of see that cooking, that's a wee thin one, so we'll just flip that over. Same with this wee one here. Okay, and this is our first one, so flip that over. This one, flip over. Flip that over. So that's, that's. Again, have a wee fail, it's nearly done. Flip her over. That's our, we'll let that sit in the pan for a wee second. Just to rest. So we'll dress our plate here. So we've got our our salad here, which is our kohlrabi, a wee bit of onion. We've got some of the apple butter on it. Apple and kohlrabi, lovely together. Uh, we'll just take a wee bit just down the side. This here. So this is really nice, light, nice and light as well because the. Uh, there's very little oil in this fish, even though it looks like a herring. It's really, 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 really quite light. And then just a nice, uh, a nice dollop of the apple butter just on the side there. And it's got a wee bit of clove in it, which would have been used traditionally in Ulster Scots cookery. We would have used a lot of spices, so clove would have been one of them. So we'll just take our, take our pollen and just down the side there. And that wee tiny one at the end. Just put that in there, but that's going to be for me that bit. There we are. And that's um, that's our dish. So that's our Loch Ness pollen. Just fried simply in the pan because there's no need to gild the lily. So one of the nicest fishes. Um, we've also got our kohlrabi, um, onion salad with the with the vinegar and the oil and a wee bit of apple butter, and then just a nice dollop of the apple butter on the side. Mm -hmm.